Hey guys, what's up y'all? It's your girl Brandy Giz and I'm back on your screen. I just came to, um, where did I come to? I came to pick up some J&J &J fish. I like J&J. &J. So yeah, I came to get some J&J &J fish. I just got off of work after doing uh, a shift and a half. Well, actually, after doing a double, I don't call it a double because I'm not working 16 hours. Um, I can't even remember. I stopped counting after so long. But it wasn't 16 hours. I did some overtime. Now, I am on my way home. But I thought I'd check in with y'all. I had a taste for some fish. And so, I um, ordered some perch. That's the only j, &J fish that I like that, you know, is really good it tastes fresh the fries are good i love the mild sauce and um yeah so let's talk about yesterday yesterday i got off of work and i went to home run in not this home run in but it's a home run in on 31st and uh i have been to this one once and i didn't like it so i went back to the original home run in that i was used to on 31st then i and mind you i haven't been there in years Y'all, when I tell y'all that pizza tastes just like the frozen, I was like, oh no. It was $25 for like a family size. That pizza tastes so like frozen. I'm like, I could have just went to Walmart and got a frozen one for like, what, $4.99? And called it a day. But I had called and she was like, I don't normally call but I called this time just to let her know and just to find out you know so she was like no uh, the family size doesn't come frozen so in other words the other ones do so they're already prepared and all you do is throw them uh -uh. I like my pizza where you you know doing a dough and you putting the, the sauce on it and the cheese and all whatever else comes with it I just like a fresh pizza you know I don't, I, if I, I didn't want it like that. So she was like, she, I guess she heard the disappointment in my voice. Cause I was, I was just like, I wanted to try that home run in that I was used to back in the day, but I guess things changed. And she offered me, she offered me a 50% um, off. So she was gonna, she's gonna credit me back my um, account. So she's gonna credit me back my account, which is cool. And uh, I was glad about that. Shoot. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to get home. I made some. Um, I made some mastacholi y'all a couple of days ago, honey. We ate it one time, and it was it was a wrap. I didn't like the way it tastes. I don't know. I just like monster choli. I don't like, I don't like, because I wasn't really focused on making lasagna, you know, so I really didn't do it right. So it, it turned out real crappy, for real, in my opinion. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. <sighs> I felt myself rambling. So let me get off of here, but I just wanted to check in with y'all because I haven't seen y'all in a couple of days. And I want to go home and I heard I got a package from Macy's same shoes y'all the bling shoes child so i tried them in an 11 they were too big i tried them in a nine and a half or was it yeah it was nine and a half it was too small so i'm gonna try a 10 i wish they had if they had a 10 and a half it would be perfect so i'm gonna try these 10 and if these tens are too tight they going back i ain't gonna talk about them ever again and we're gonna call it a day so i'll see you guys once i get to the house Coleslaw, fish, french fries. I love their mild sauce. This is good, y'all. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all.
Hey y'all, what's up? It's been a couple hours and I just got off of work and I stopped at this little Mexican joint that sells tacos. My coworker, she gave me a taco. Her taco was fire and it was actually steak with um, cilantro, lettuce, and cheese. I don't like onions, so I didn't get any. Well, I do like onions, but I don't like them on my tacos like that. But I would have ate it if it was. I probably would have picked it out. But anyway, long story short, they were good. So I went to the same place she went to on Western and Cermak. It's right there in the little Dunkin' Donuts mini mall. Stopped there, got the tacos. So I'm on my way home so I can eat these bad boys. And I got a side of rice. I did want some rice and beans, but I don't eat the beans. So yes, I can take this off my head and take my my mask off yes so how y'all been what's up tell me what's going on and y'all neck of the woods so um i just got off of work feeling good and i don't have i don't have to go tomorrow which is a good thing i don't have to wear a mask unless i go to the store so I'm on my way home. I see there's a delivery. I ordered something. So I will share with you all if it looks right. If it don't, I'll probably still share it with y'all. But, you know, my ears usually hurt when I wear the mask behind my ears for an extended period of time, especially at work. And one of the nurses uh, at my job, her mother made these, which I thought was so cute, different colors. She's not selling them or anything, but it helps so much from keeping it behind your ear. So you just, you know, put it behind your head and these buttons, you just put the uh, mask, the little elastic, whatever the mask is made out of. This part, you uh, put them on the, the buttons and you don't have to worry about your ears hurting. So if you know how to crochet, you better make you one. Or if you know somebody that knows how to crochet, you might want to um, get it. But I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat. I have my order. So, yeah. Not talking about much. So, let me get off of here so I can head home. And I will see you in a minute. All right. Bye. But I have an Amazon order that just came. And I ordered some pillow covers from Amazon. But they look a little bit lighter than, yeah, they look a bit lighter than my actual pillow. And I was gonna cover it to go with that, but it's, I don't know, it's just not doing it for me. Let's see, this is kind of cheesy. I'm gonna see. Let me see. Well, I won't even take the, I won't even take it out. I'm just gonna cover and see. I wanted it to be like a darker, like um, what you see in the rug. What is that? It's not navy. It's is it navy or it's not royal blue? But I'm gonna open. Let's see. Ooh. My arm don't hurt, but I could tell I got some. I got a shot from when I showed y'all earlier. I've been ripping and running. I just made it home so it'll look less like that but it's so light I don't know maybe I will keep it I don't know it was cheap I'm gonna put the other one on there and see and y'all let me know what y'all think and I'll make my decision not based off of what y'all say but you know um, I just needed a pop of color in here and I was gonna take the pillows that was in the bedroom and bring them downstairs because, um, but they so fancy and I don't know. But I'm gonna put this in here, let's see. Cause I was just gonna buy some more pillows, but I said I can just buy some covers for the pillows. I seen one online. I was watching um, this lady that does decorating. She's really good. 
she's a Hispanic lady. And that's where I got it from because she bought these pillows, these uh, pillow uh, covers. But hers was really cute because it had like silver in it. So that's where I got that idea from. Okay, so let's see. Let's change this out and put like silver. That looks better. I don't know, y'all. Let me know. What else did I buy from uh, Amazon? I bought a wireless remote. Can I see? Is this like... Okay. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't do that. I shouldn't. I can't see. Okay. Sorry. I bought a wireless remote. Hold it up so they can see me. My, my arm is in pain right now. Just hold it up. You don't know how I mean. Okay, so I bought a wireless remote control from JJC. They said that this worked with my camera, so I'm going to see so I can be able to take pictures. I'll tell y'all a little bit more about it. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Brandy Giz. I just gave myself a hot oil treatment. Yes, because my hair was dry and um, washed my hair and now it's down. I didn't film it or anything because I have plenty of videos like that. I'm about to eat and clean up this room. I'm about to eat me some strawberry shredded wheat. I was going to eat breakfast but this is quick i need to run out really quick to the store but i just want to come to you i'm about to uh tackle this room but first i need to eat something <laughs> yes and as far as those pillows on yesterday mm -mm, i don't like them i'm taking them back to Kohl's, drop them off so they can go back to amazon and i have some more coming so i don't like those pillows so you don't even have to vote i'm not keeping them mm -mm. all right I'll talk to y'all in a minute so I just ran out really quick to take back the um, stuff that I ordered from Amazon. And right now I'm going to get it in and eat. I'm hungry. I'm a little sleepy. I took that medicine. I shouldn't have took it. It made me a little drowsy. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brandy Giz, and I'm back on your screen. It is a new day. It's been a couple of days. I've been kind of like working and chilling and whatnot. But I stopped at this rib joint here uh, in Evergreen. Never been to it, but um, I said, why not? My son had picked up some Pizza Hut. So um, I stopped at this rib joint. It's called, what's the name of it? I think the rib joint is called 79th Barbecue, something like that. I'm gonna put it on the screen, I promise. But yeah, they have uh, different kinds of rib tips, turkey tips, and beef tips. So. I end up ordering it never had it before I'm gonna show you my food but um before I show you my food I'm going to do this haul really quick uh, to get it out the way I had showed you probably earlier in a clip when I had came home from work uh, some pillowcases that didn't work out they were real cheesy y'all I didn't like them so uh, I shipped that back to Kohl's you know because Kohl's uh, take back Amazon orders and whatnot yeah, so um, right now I'm going to show you what came in the mail. I purchased some more perfume, so it, it isn't like like niche fragrances, like real big time, but they're fragrances that you, I'm sure, have heard of. So let me show you um, this little haul. So, okay, my love, so I'm back and I'm going to show you what was sent. <sighs> All right, my love, so I'm going to show you what I ordered from different perfume companies and I also placed like a little tiny haul from Amazon but first I'm going to show you the first perfume this is in no particular order I ordered the Roberto Cavalli this is the Gemma di Paradiso Gemma di Paradiso and it came like this this is from fragrance.com and this is a perfume so let me open this up now these are blind buys y'all Yes, these are blind, blind buys. They gave me a Simply Bell. I don't know what this is, but they gave me that as a sample and a coupon. Oh, they gave me some more coupons inside. So this is from fragrance.com and yeah, they put some coupons. So I'm gonna see how this smells. I hope it smells good because this is a blind buy, y'all. And I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I like to smell my fragrances before I buy it, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. We're gonna see. 
And I've heard it from a YouTuber that um, she reviews perfume. Her name, I think it's Amber Chante. Girl, I'm sorry. But I watch, I've been watching her for a minute. I think I subscribed to her. And she talked, uh, she raves about this perfume. So we're going to see. It's in a beautiful bottle. Look at that. That is beautiful. Bring it on in. Okay. And I'm going to spray. What should I spray, y'all? Let's see. Should I spray this? I'm going to spray this card. Hmm. Hmm. Do I supposed to spray the card? I don't know the fragrance. I don't know the uh, notes. Hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna pull the notes up for y'all. So this is a vlog. I'm not in a rush, but I want to spray it on my arm. Maybe I spray it on my hand. Let's see. Okay. Mm. It smells okay. It, it's not love at first sight, but it smells pretty good. Yeah, it's not love at first sight, but it smells pretty good. I'm not, it's not obnoxious or anything or gets on my nerves because I do have one that I'm definitely going to get rid of. And I'm going to show you that a little bit later. I put it in a cabinet, y'all, away from everybody, everything. So, yes, this is the Roberto Cavalli. And that was the heater that y'all probably heard. And I'm going to look it up for y'all. Let's see the notes. And it's called Jimmy. Okay. It smells pretty good. The tester on fragrance.net, fragrancenet.com. The tester is 44.19. If you want the 2.5, which is, let's see what this is. 2.5. Yeah. This is 55. I think I probably got it on sale. That's probably why I did this big purchase and I had a coupon. But, um,. Yeah, I just paid it flat out. But this is the Roberto Cavalli Gemma Di Paradisco. Probably butchering the name. And I'm trying to show y'all the notes. Product description. Let's see. It says, capture the essence of feminine scent when you are in Gemma Di Paradiso. Paradiso. A feminine scent that is attractive and distinct. I know I'm supposed to say it all cute and whatnot, but I'm, I'll get it together. Next video. Launched in 2018 uh, by Design House, Roberto Cavalli. The, note, the top notes of this luminescence fragrance are pear and mandarin orange. The heart is a bouquet of flowers with notes from jasmine and other floral notes. The fragrance closes with an endearingly deep notes of amber vanilla and precious woods for a closure that is hard to forget it smells it smells okay it's decent okay so the next fragrance um is machino and i always wanted to try this never did i remember they had it i think at either alta no either alta or Let's see, Alta or either Sephora. And it looked like a Windex bottle. So, I always want to try it. This is the one point fluid ounce. I didn't need no big bottle. This is one point fluid ounce. Okay, got a little sticker. Okay, the bottle is so small and tiny. Okay, so we're gonna spray. Oh, look at I'm thinking you do it like this, but I guess not. Duh, that would have been cool if they had it like that. Okay, let's see how this smells. Huh, I gotta let it sit for a minute. Okay. It's okay. I, this is like that not serious type of perfume. This is like going to the show, you know, if the theater was open. It's okay, too. It's okay. It's all right. 
It's not bad. It doesn't have that fragrance that I hate. That note. Oh my god, I hate almond. It's not bad. It has like a sweet smell. Let me see what what is in here. This is machino. Okay. So I don't know if I like jasmine. Um, machino is a French gold couture. It is what come. Okay, so the it's a feminine scent, and it says it's a fresh floral scent. The top notes is grapefruit, pear, white peach, and the middle notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, and orchid. I don't know. This isn't something that I would reach for, but it's a pretty bottle for display. It's, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. So, so far, this one is... This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Let's see. I don't smell it anymore on me. Let's see. Let that sit. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I picked up this Moschino. This is I Love Love. Yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. This smells good. It's not like, woo, but... It's nice. Okay, this is a cute little bottle. A little girly, right? This is the cheap and chic Moschino. Okay, let's see what this one's let's see what this one smells like. Cause I'm about to take a bath, y'all. I still got on my work shirt. Hmm. This like summery. This smells good. It's like summery, like a citrus type of smell. I'm I'm feeling this. I like this. I like it. It's different. It don't smell I don't know it's different it just this is really nice for like the summer it's like fresh out the shower type of smell and you got on your cute little gown and you're yeah this is pretty good this isn't like oh my god you need this in your life it smells so good it's a mind sticker this is a really nice fragrance to um have in your collection okay the last fragrance is La Femme Prada, okay? And so far I have two, two, two of the uh, fragrances I like. This one is like, and eh, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Okay, I was watching, I'll be watching people on YouTube. I was watching Gina Janine and she raved about this fragrance. So I said, let me try it. It is the 1.7 fluid ounce. And this is the bottle right here. It's cute. It was the white. Let me bring it on in. Okay, hopefully this one smells good. I hope it smells good and it don't smell weird. Okay. Hmm. This smells decent. It's soft. Yeah, it's soft. It's soft. It's not obnoxious. Hmm. It's nice. It's soft. The product that I have upstairs is kind of bam in your face but this one is nice and soft i have vaseline on me so i'm kind of like messing up my bottles but this is a decent fragrance so so far this is how i would rate it number one the roberto cavalli Gemma di paradiso this one i love love machino i will go with prada number three and this one 
I might just give it on away or just keep it on the shelf. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But anyway, that's that haul. And I placed a small haul from my husband placed a small haul too from um where did he place it? I'm not gonna show you the um the earbuds because that's what the camera is sitting on. But he also purchased a manicure set, I guess, for his nails, child. And it looks like so. Real nice. Um, and I wanted a remote for my... I don't know if I showed you this in the last haul. A remote for my camera. And this is actually how it looks. And this will work with the Sony ZV-1. And I'm looking kind of crazy because it's been a long day and I'm trying to make sure I'm saying the name of the camera right. But this is the wireless remote. This is the JJC. And let me show y'all the box. So if you want to order it, you can. So this is the information right here to order it. Yeah. I purchased a concealer from Target and um, I don't like it. It's the Superstay. It was $10. She's definitely going to go back because I don't have $10 to waste. So, yeah, she's definitely going to go back. I was looking for the Maybelline, my favorite, and tan, but they didn't have it. They were all out. So, this is going to go back. Yep, $10. And my dad had came over and he picked up me some Fog Defender. This is for your glasses, especially when you're wearing, <clears throat> this is for your glasses, especially when you're wearing like uh, a mask, even if you're at work and you need some, you know, you just spray this on your glasses and you use the cloth because it comes with the cloth. This was cool. He got this from CVS and you spray this on your glasses, like a real small little bottle about the size of my my pinky finger and it comes with a cloth and he was so excited about it because his glasses don't fog up no more and yeah and then you just use this little cloth you wipe your glasses with it and your your glasses won't fog up anymore so somebody else told me you could use toothpaste but i don't know about that i wouldn't want to scratch my lens with toothpaste but yeah this is pretty good yeah And the last item from Amazon, I ordered some work pants. I need some more work pants. My friend Angie, she um, had these pants. I thought they were cute on her, so I ended up ordering them. They're from Expect the Unexpected Premium Stretch. This is by Wonderflex. And they were really cheap. They were like 17 bucks. So if you need some black pants, these are it. Spread some good cheer. Yeah, so they look like this. And they go all the way down. Kind of like wide leg. Not too wide. But I like my pants to be long because I do a lot of washing. Sometimes I throw these bad boys in the dryer. And I think that is all. I'm waiting on, um, I had to order some more pillows i'm waiting on some pillows for um our couch they were really cheap so i hope they don't look cheap in person but uh they look like they'll match and yeah i'm waiting for that to come in so maybe i'll show you guys that when it comes and what else that is about it so this will complete my blind buy you guys i can't even smell this i must need to spray a lot of this on but let's see Okay, the product's pretty decent. This one, I don't know, it, it can turn on me though. It has some kind of fruity note that you gotta make sure you um, take a bath because if you don't, you'll smell funky with this. Mm-hmm, yeah, but um, let me spray it again. I'm gonna spread, I'm gonna spread on my wrist. Yeah, I was told that this was like a better version of um what's the the scent called light blue mm, it don't smell like light blue to me or even close but that's my opinion this is my nose and i don't know y'all i just 
purchase some fragrances. I am really hard to please when it comes to fragrances, y'all. For real, I am. Um, I'm real like, ugh. If it has one note off, I'm like, nope. Yep, that's me. But let me show y'all my food really quick. Let me go wash my hands really quick and I'll show y'all my food. Okay, my love, so this is what the food come in. They give you this bread that I know I'm not gonna eat. I don't like bread like that. And this is the greens. They smell good. Let me see if I can open it up. They look okay. They smell good. I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes because I'm going to make my plate. These are the yams. This is the mac and cheese. And I got a small beef rib tip. And I guess it comes with fries. And that's it. Not too much. They're not even real rib tips, I don't think. Yep, so. so I'm excited about my fragrances. Let me see. Yeah, the I Love Love, I'll wear that in the summertime. It's okay. I can't wear that right now in the wintertime. Mm -mm. It's like a summer fragrance. But which one? That Paradisco? I don't know where I put it. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I, should, I told y'all I was going to show y'all. Hold on one second. Let me show y'all this really quick. I hate this perfume with a passion, y'all. I hate it. I showed y'all this in other, another video. Somebody wanted to purchase it. This name of it. This perfume stinks for real. Please, don't wear it. Mm -mm. You ain't smelling good at all. No. <laughs> I wouldn't even give that to... I, I do I'm I'm probably gonna end up selling it to somebody, but um mm -mm. I said I wasn't gonna blind buy it anymore. I'm trying to stop because I'm trying to find a fragrance that I'm just like in love with. You know that fragrance that you just fall in love with, you like mm, I smell sexy. Well, none of those fragrances did it for me in as far as me feeling like I smell sexy. Or anything. The Gemma, Gemma, the Roboto Cavalli, the Roboto, girl, the Roboto, Reber, the Roboto Cavalli smells decent, but I mean, it ain't that come get me juice, but it's, it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna make my plate real quick. I'll be back. Okay, so this is my plate. And let me show y'all. Yeah, this is my plate for a restaurant. It's not no, it's not no home cooked meal. But let me bless the food, bless the food, Lord, that I'm about to receive. Take any impurities out that don't belong, and make it be fit for this temple on which you reside. And all these things we pray in your Son's name, in Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Okay, the macaroni. It look nasty, but it's pretty good. And it's homemade. Sweet potatoes. Pretty good. Greens. They got a kick to them. They ain't bad though. A different kind of kick. Mm-hmm. They okay. A little salty. And the ribs. These are not real rib tips. I seen one of my um one of um one of the officers at work. Well, he used to work there. He retired. I seen him at um, the place. I haven't seen him in a long time, so shout out to Officer Cersei. I seen him at the rib joint. It was good to see him. He said he'd been gone for five years. It seemed like yesterday when he retired. So, um, yeah, he stays not too far from me. So, 
Yeah, uh, he told me don't get the ribs heads, get like the chicken. I can't remember what kind of chicken he said, but if I saw the menu, I would know. But this right here is not real rib tips, y'all. So let's see what it tastes like. Mm -mm. They missed the mark. No. Mm -mm. They size are good. But this right here. Mm -mm. It's okay. One to five, I give it a, I give it a two and a half. But it ain't good. The sides are really good. Mm -hmm. I like the sauce. The sauce is really good too. I think that I give it a three because the sauce is pretty good. But this this meat, I don't know about. Mm -mm. But the sides are real good, y'all. Okay, let me get out of here because I'll be smacking and stuff. And I know some of y'all are real, like, real funny. Y'all don't want to hear no smacking. You won't see nobody eating, chewing. I understand. But then again, I don't. Because don't you eat? So, let me get out of here, y'all. I will see you in the next vlog. Sorry that this vlog was short, but I, I've been working. I've been working for real. I am not a full-time YouTuber. And if I was, this whole vlog would be boring. Because... I don't be doing nothing but staying at home chilling, watching y'all. Okay, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye. All right, you guys. I wanted to update you really quick before I jump in the shower on these perfumes. Girl, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, you guys, about this perfume. One of them is definitely going to have to grow on me. Um... The other three, I don't like the way it smells with my body chemistry. Um, the I love, love, that kind of smells. I don't know, I would have to see it in the summertime. But usually when I wear fragrances, um, I'll know right off the bat, yeah, like this is the bomb. But I'm not feeling any of them, to be honest with you. So I suggest don't be trying to go on fragrance net, go on on air, because Brandy Giz has this new fragrance don't go get it mm -mm. no don't do that don't waste don't waste your money don't i just wanted to blind buy and see how it is and i'm glad that most majority well basically all four of them was on sale and i didn't spend a lot of money out of pocket but i just got through eating and i'm sniffing them and i love love it's okay but it's not it's, it just don't do it for me y'all I'm sorry um, I don't know I don't know what to say blind by I swear I'm so I'm not good at picking out perfumes I suck I'm gonna stop blind by watch I get online tonight and order another one but anyway let me finish editing these video this video and i will see you guys in the next one but i just want to update you guys i don't like any of them i don't even like the now i really don't like the prada something about that either that company that i ordered from i, don't, I think it's either fragrance.net or fragrance one of those y'all i i don't like the way that perfume smells it's like it needs to be mixed with something. Something caramel. Something sweet. It has that flat smell. It doesn't do anything. <sighs> Let me get off of here. So I can take this wig off. Hit the shower and go to bed. So I can go to work in the morning. I see y'all. Don't buy that perfume. Don't buy it. Some of these people. Don't buy that perfume y'all. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. I'm really funny when it comes to perfume. If it's not right it ain't tight. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. Do not spend your money. Um, it's just a handful of fragrances that I really truly like that I will wear. That's Killian. I don't need a prince by my side. That's Baccarat Rouge that I would suggest. That is, um, hold on. This one right here, which is Bulgarvi. Bulgari. Bulgari. And this is just remember the purple bottle. Cause I don't know. Let me see if I can read it. I can't read it. I'm in the dark. And just remember the purple bottle. You can even get the silver one, y'all. This one right here. 
you can even get the silver one but uh and julia has a gun i love this and um yeah that's basically all that i like that i can say i can just reach and grab and won't feel any ways about it but i didn't like any of the fragrances i mean they were okay they were okay they might smell good on somebody else but not, my body chemistry it just ugh, it didn't do it didn't do well y'all all right good night y'all love y'all